Ooh. Good morning. Good morning. Whew. I just sneezed like 50 times. I have such exciting things to tell you guys. Oh my God. I just sneezed 100 times. How's everybody doing? Um, I find hair everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but I literally find hair everywhere. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is, hi, Roger. It is uh, Wednesday, and uh, I am getting ready for work. Hi, Jace, my love. Pretty sure you're supposed to be in school, but what else? Um, and, uh, and, It's Wednesday and I have uh, a full day at work and then uh, hi Rickles and then I have um, soccer. Max has a game tonight and um, Olivia has a game tonight. So Michael and I will split up, but um, but I'm excited because I love soccer days because I love watching my kids play soccer. Um, so anyway, uh, it is such a weird thing when your teenagers start asking you like if they can like whack, you know, get, get waxed and shit. Like, not that it's like a bad thing or anything. It's just like a weird thing, you know, like a weird thing. Um, anyway, so it has now become something that Olivia and I do together. And I mean, just our armpits, that's where we're at now, but. Uh, she asked me if she could get her eyebrows waxed and I said no because I tried to tell her I've never touched my eyebrows and it's always better if you don't um, touch your eyebrows because I believe your eyebrows grow into like the face that you have. So anyway, because my kids go to Catholic school, they have a half a day on Thursday and uh, no school Good Friday, no school Easter Monday. So I took off work to be with them. So I, I couldn't take off Thursday because I'm recording. This is very exciting what I'm about to tell you. I am recording the first episode of season two of my podcast. And I am so, so excited. Um, we have two confirmed guests for this season so far. Um, and I have to tell you, that I am going to be talking to Ann Wilson from Heart and Belinda Carlisle from the Go-Go's. And then I'm working on getting uh, Pat Benatar. And I just cannot even tell you how excited I am to be able to talk to women in rock, women that I admire, women who have done it, in my opinion, all and wrong and right. And I'm so, just so, so, so excited. Um, so I think, uh, you know, if there are any really cool women in rock that you would love to hear me talk to, please comment so that I can reach out to them. Um, I just absolutely love badass women. I'm such a girl fan and such a lesbian in that way. But anyway, so... I'm just going to try to put my face on today. I don't really know why. It's going to be so hot in um, Birmingham. I don't even want to put that on. It's too hot for me. Um, so, uh, so I wanted to tell you guys something. Um, I had this interesting conversation with a friend yesterday about breaking generational curses. And... She was like going on and on. Oh, Taylor Dane. That would be an interesting one. Yeah, Stevie Nicks. Holy shit. Could you imagine? Hi, Stevie Nicks. I can't even talk. Blah. Okay, grab a treat. 
Good luck. May the force be with you. You're a good husband, Charlie Brown. Um, what was I saying? Oh, God, I have the worst ADD. Um, so... What was I saying? Oh, so we were talking about breaking generational curses, right? And she was telling me that she doesn't really know how to break generational curses. And I said to her, well, do you allow the people who hurt you to see your children? Ooh, Joan Jett, great one. Um, and she said, no. I do not let the people who hurt me see my children. I said, that right there is breaking generational curses. Not allowing the people who hurt you to have access to your children is breaking generational curses. You don't actually have to know how to do something to break generational curses. A lot of times we think it's something that we have to do. It's what we don't do a lot of times that breaks generational curses. And uh, I think it's very important that we get honest about that. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to know what to do. You can simply say, I know the pain that you caused me and I am not going to allow you to have access to my children. And that right there breaks that curse. It ends there. So long as you haven't picked up that behavior and you're not, what happens when you can't get them away from the people that hurt you? Why, did someone tie you to a chair? I, I don't understand the question and I'm not trying to be facetious. Unless it's their father and you cannot get a court order to keep him away from your children, I cannot imagine how you cannot keep your children away from someone that hurt you. Um, uh, I do the whole like over my dead body thing. Uh, you will not see my children over my dead body, period, point blank. Uh, and if you need to know why, I will tell everybody in the world why. And I will say it loud and I will say it really, 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 really truthfully and loud. And you won't like it. Um, <clears throat> Anne says, good morning, Jamie. I am hooked on Red Rocker Candy Rock, Red Rocker Candy Rocking Chair Mix. I know. And Mary sending samples out. Oh, Alanis Morissette, great one. Um, so listen, you know what? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just simply telling you that if you want to break generational curses, but you don't know how, simply not allowing the people that hurt you when you were young to have access to your children is breaking those curses, period. Um, is the pollen like next level or am I getting a cold? Because I really don't want a cold. Um, anyway, so. Oh. Did I get a tan? Yes, I went to Florida for spring break. So, oh God. Love my lap bag. Tell Mary thank you, it finally arrived. Okay, I think she's here. I think she's. Um, the pollen is high, great. Oh my God, it's like right here. I, guys, my. My husband got a Tesla, and honestly, it's like weird. It sounds like a spaceship leaving my house every day. Um, I just came in from walking outside, but I took a shower, so I'm surprised that the pollen is bothering me so bad, but holy shit, it is serious. Anyway, 
Listen, I love you guys. I'm just here to remind you that sometimes it simply is that easy. Just, you should test for COVID. I mean, I'm not gonna test for COVID every time I sneeze. That's no fun. I'm a human being, I sneeze. Um, don't you hate when you see, you see an eyelash in your thing? Anyway, so I'm planning my trip to LA. No dice, he would not get in. All right, the dog wouldn't get in the car, guys. The dog is not about the Tesla. He's like, hell no, keep your spaceship. I'm not into it, which means now I have to drive the dog to take care of myself, which is fine. Um, Robin S., you got to show me love. Heartbreak promises. I've had more than my... No, is that Robin S.? That might not be Robin S., is it? I thought it was. You got to show me love. Words are so easy to say. Um, anyway. Okay, I'm a mess. Um, do you ever get tickets in Birmingham on the south side? I do not. Show me love is Robin S. Thank you. I knew it. I know it. Ooh, Martha Quinn or Nina, Nina Blackwood. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So also, I want to tell you guys something. Okay? I want to tell you guys something. Um... I, Sheila E would be great. Annie Lennox, I was in an elevator with her one time. Honestly, I think I'm better looking because of it. Um, I absolutely hate blow drying my hair. Just FYI, hate it. Why do I hear somebody coming in my house? Hello? That was weird. You can get me Sheila, that would be dope, oh my God. So this is my rollerball oil that you guys know because I can't wear a lot of perfume because my burning mouth, I sneeze, my mouth burns, I don't like it, um, I don't like the way it feels. This is my rollerball one of my rollerball oils that we sell, and I absolutely love it. I wish you guys could see how good this, I could see. Mm, it smells so good. Even Jackson is like, what are you wearing? That smells so good. I'm like, that's my rollerball. Oh, we have it in stock, Mary? Um, if you guys are looking for something for summer that is light and like really fresh smelling, but isn't overpowering and doesn't make your nose itch or your mouth burn, I'm such a loser. But um, this is one of my roller balls. It is the faith-based roller ball. This is Isaiah 26.3. Uh, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And I love this so much. Oh, Mary posted the link. She's so sweet. Thank you, Mary. Anyway, I absolutely love it. Um, you will love this. You will absolutely love this. Um, mm, heaven. I'm in heaven. All right, so now I'm going to blow dry my hair. <clears throat> and uh, yes, Nicole, it's on the site. It's great. It's the rollerball uh, oils. I pinned the comment. Um, but I need to dry my hair because it's getting frizzier by the second. Maybe I should just put some oil in my hair and not blow dry it. I wonder what it would look like. I don't know. And so I wait in the 
morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream to the top of my lungs, what's going on? Um, also, when I don't dry my hair and it's wet, it itches like a mug. Uh, it, what does it smell like? I don't know the descriptions on the site. It smells like deliciousness. Um, this one I'm wearing, I believe, is Peace. Mm. I love it so much. Mm. But anyway, guys, I, I think I have a girl crush, but we could talk about that later. I got a girl crush. He too in me. Um, Paul Mitchell skinny serum. Oh yeah. Um, we sell all kinds of them. You could go to the site. I pinned the comment right there. Um, I do air dry my hair a lot of times, but my hair just doesn't dry nice anymore. That's another thing we have age to thank. stateofstylejewelry.com. The comment is pinned right here. You could see the pinned comment on Facebook. I pinned it. You could just click the link. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much. We are, I love all of that. I have all of them. I got the set when we were at market. I just bought it because I love them and I want to change up my sense, but they don't bother. Look, they don't bother my nose at all. And I am sensitive to scents, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, I, um, I, uh, love you guys and I want us very much to break generational curses. I do not want our children to be affected by the same things we are affected by. Um, and I just want you to know that I love you and hold on. I'm getting my hoops. Hold on. Oh my God. I just tripped over my dress. Uh, I will pray for you. Of course I will. I always need people to pray for and things to pray for that are not me. I'm tired of praying for myself. Um, and thank you to everybody who bought my hoops. I think you sold them out. I don't know how many pairs we have left, if any. Um, but I love them so much and I get so many compliments on them. They're gold with little beads and they are so light and perfect for every outfit. And I just love them. Um, but anyway, I love you. It's Holy Week. It's a great week. And, 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 you know, this is when Jesus does the fat Joe and he moved the rock away. Lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Will Mary be on the podcast? Absolutely. She will. Yes. Mary and I are going to have a very, very important conversation. Uh, happy birthday, Lauren. Mary and I are going to talk about the things nobody tells you to prepare for when a loved one dies. And I know that sounds like Debbie Downer, but you know we'll be funny. You know we'll cut up. We'll do the whole thing. Um, why do we always hold on to hope that a narcissist will change? That is a whole other podcast, I mean, uh, coffee talk that we might have to do tomorrow. But anyway, I love you guys so much. Um, and yes, I still have my period. And yes, I love it. And yes, I talk to it. Um, Mary, everybody wants to know when the cross will be restocked. Can you tell them? Maybe we could put it on pre-order. Mm. Guys, I love this oil. I'm telling you. I love these hoops. What? Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Have a great, great day.